my channel is about all things chronic illness so don't forget to like comment and subscribe hey guys happy sunday so it is about 9 50 and I just took out my um, Benlista um, auto injector. I'll show you close up, but I'm gonna let it sit out. It says for 30 minutes uh, prior. Um, I've seen a couple videos that say they can leave theirs out even for an hour. So I just set my timer for 40 minutes to let it come to room temperature. I checked um, the expiration date to make sure everything was good but I'll walk you guys through the steps this is my first time doing the auto injector I've been on bin list of two other times um, I think the last time was like I don't know when I, I stopped it sometime in 2018 I think I was on it for like 14 months or something I can't I can't remember um, but because of financial reasons the auto injector was way cheaper um, compared to the hospital infusion would have been 17,000 billed to my Medicare, which I'm responsible for 20%. And as we know, or don't know with loop, with, um, the infusion that you do monthly, you have to do loader doses. So you have to go every two weeks for the first three doses. Then you go every, um, four weeks. So that's a lot of money. Um, so after lots of stress through my, my rheumatologist, I finally got the prior off that I needed for the auto injector and it was only $8.50. Yes, you heard me, $8.50. So that was for four of them, um, four of the auto injector pins. So that's the route I'm having to go. Um, you have several places that you can do the injection. I will put it on the screen. Um, you can do your stomach or your thighs, but I think to, to start off, I'm going to just do my thigh area. Um, just because I just rather do my thigh than my stomach. I don't know why, but I just do. Um, so pre-med that I'm going to take is, um, some Tylenol just and some Benadryl, but I'm not going to do the Benadryl until after um because i feel like when i used to do the infusion i used to get benadryl solumedrol i don't think i didn't get tylenol uh, i just had benadryl and solumedrol in the fluids and of course they would give me that like an hour before um they would start my benlista but i'm not yeah we're not gonna wait an hour um like, I'm not going to do the Benadryl, like, right now, but I'm going to take it as soon as I'm done. Um, but I'm trying to make sure everything that I needed to accomplish was getting done. So, we just had a late dinner. Um, and I don't have anything on my schedule that I remember of. So, I'm going to just take two of the Tylenols. Um, 325s. Now, since I just got finished eating, and I actually just took my Plaquenil. I normally take that um, like 3, 4 o'clock, but um, we had track practice, and that did not happen, unfortunately, because I did not really eat like that. So, um, it is what it is. So, I've made sure, like, I'm super tired. Um, yesterday was really hard from practice. Today was super hard. So, I had to wash my hair. And I've already got my shower, so that way everything will be um, ready to go. So we're going to count down these uh, 40 minutes, and then I'll come back um, to show you guys how it's going to work. Many, many minutes later. Okay, guys, so it's been 40 minutes. I wanted to make sure everything was um, ready to go. So I'm going to move. I'm using my ring light. So right here on the table... It's not a sharps container, but um, I had to do this for the time being, for the simple fact. I went to CVS 
and the sharps container that they had was like the little one um and you can see the benlista is a lot larger so until i can find a larger container um i will be utilizing my uh simply lemonade container you can use um like your old laundry uh container that's like a approved because it's thick and it's not going to penetrate um but i had to use what i had to use until i can get to a different pharmacy to see if they have the larger ones um in stock but right now like i said they don't um so i've taken my two tylenol i couldn't think earlier so i remember when i used to do my pre-meds i also used to get Finnergan. um zofran never really worked for me because it would still cause nausea so i'm going to take a Finnergan when i take the benadryl um right before i go to bed and one other thing i'm gonna try to like drink a bottle of water um because i know i haven't had a whole lot of fluid um today but yeah so let me show you the items that we need okay so need an alcohol prep pad or a cotton ball with alcohol on it to clean the area um a band-aid to um, put on when you're done i'm using some hand sanitizer like i said i just got out of the shower but i'm just going to do this um to clean my hands thoroughly when it's time and of course you will need your um benlista auto injector so can you see yeah. so you can see like what they want you to have is this needs to be clear like nothing cloudy or discolored inside they said it can be a little yellow but mine is completely clear um you also need to make sure your uh expiration date is good and mine is good until November 2022. So that is good and ready to go. So now I'm going to reposition the camera so you can see. I'm going to do mine in my thigh. Um, like I said, I'll put the chart on the screen. And maybe next week um, I'll do, you know, in my stomach. But the rule is you need to try to pick the same day, of course, the same day, and try to do the same time each week um just to prevent any type of lapsing in you know time or whatever so it is 10 30 i had to look at the clock um and that's what's going to be my time so i feel like that's a good time on a sunday night um for me i know i cannot like i won't schedule myself for anything for monday tuesday that's important um wednesday unfortunately i do have a epidural on my neck um but i will see how i feel on tomorrow to whether or not i feel like my body can handle going through that even though i really do need it um but i just want to make sure that i'm safe if that makes sense so let me stop the camera and reposition it to show my thighs and don't no it's a no judgment zone i have not shaved my thighs but hmm, it is what it is <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys can see my thigh. I will try to zoom in as much as I can as possible. So right now I'm going to use my hand sanitizer to make sure I'm good and ready to go. You know, for years when I used to give injections, do IVs and all of that lovely stuff, but the fact that you have to uh, do it on yourself is a whole different uh, ball game. So I'm gonna take alcohol um and i'm just gonna clean around this area and i'm really gonna go like right here so i'm gonna let that dry for a minute to prevent any extra burning all right so the next step is you can pull this cap off or you can twist it so i'm just going to twist it gently um you can go clockwise or counter with you know no issues so you just put your cap to the side because you don't need that anymore you can see the yellow this is the part that's going to go on your skin um and i'm going to have the 
inside of here, once you press down, you're going to hear a click and then the medicine will start slowly going. It'll take about 15 seconds and then the window will start to turn purple as the medicine is coming down and um, you'll hear a second click. But once this is completely your win, I'm sorry, I'm all off. But once the window is completely purple, then you know you're completely done and you can release it from your skin. Whew. All right, guys. So I'm just gonna put it right here at a 90 degree angle. And I wish, let me reposition to see if I can get you guys in the view of the purple. Okay, not sure when I zoom if you can see the purple or not, but let's just get this over with. So all I have to do is just press and hold. I'm gonna hold my skin taut um, that reduces any fat. And here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, I burned so bad. Okay. Um, you can see the purple. That means that the purple went all the way down and the medicine is in and you heard the second click. Well, at least I hope you did. And now I just need to dispose of this. And it did not bleed. So, um, put this band aid on here. Ooh, that does it burns for sure. Okay, so it wasn't, I guess, as bad as I thought. Um, I'm trying to watch the hurricane that could possibly come this way. I'm not sure, but yeah, it wasn't as bad is like painful that I thought. Um, I don't know if I probably should have held it for like an additional, um, some people hold it for like an additional 10 seconds after the click and maybe I should have done that. Maybe I'll do that next time, but I did not do that. Um, Cause I saw that it was all the way purple. Um, towards when the medicine starts coming, it does start to sting, but it's very uh, tolerable. So it wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, the next time I do my stomach, I will definitely um, do that. And I will be doing a blog post to go along with this video um, just so uh, more people can understand how to do it, what to expect. Like I said, I've done the infusion, but I've never done the injection. So I'm just curious to know like, what kind of side effects, if I'm going to have any. Um, so right now, I am about to chug down a bottle of water, and then I'm going to go ahead and take the Benadryl. I'm only gonna do like 25 milligrams of Benadryl and 12.5 milligrams of Finnergan. But of course your doctor will tell you what you need to take um, based on you know your condition and your other medications. Um, to be truthful, my doctor really, they didn't go over anything with me other than me saying, hey, I wanna try to just do it at home because it's cheaper on me. So no one called me in to say, do you understand it? Um, you know, I had to really like go onto the Benlist the Gateway website um, to get the information that I needed on like how to properly do it, what I needed to learn, X, Y, Z, watch some YouTube videos. I know how to give injections, but with the Benlista, you can only do your thighs or your stomach where sub Q and other places you can go your arm just so I had, you know, you have to research that. And also Benlista Gateway has nurses that can walk you through um, via like a video chat to help you understand how to do it. And if you have any concerns, they will walk you through it. Call them. They'll even give you a sharps container, which I've requested through them. Um, and they'll send you like stickers so you can remember, I just gave it in my right you know, thigh. So next time when I do it, I'm gonna have to do my left thigh because you have to alternate your sight each week. You cannot re-stick in the same place. So they have these cute little stickers that they'll give you so you can like mark on your calendar or um, you can mark on the actual auto pen container so you'll know like, hey, this is, you know, dose two. It needs to go on my right or, or left thigh. So you just have to keep up with it. I'm just going to put it on my calendar, my planner, um, so I know what side I gave it and the time that I gave it. 
and I will make note of, you know, side effects or anything like that that I may or may not have. I'm praying I don't have a whole lot because I already don't feel the best. But, yeah, I mean, that was pretty easy. And I don't have to be at infusion sitting there for um, a couple hours getting stuck multiple times when I had a metaphor, which no, I no longer have. Um, so, yeah, that part is a, a plus And I don't have to, like... My husband used to have to drive me to all of my uh, infusion appointments because I would get pre-medicated and the Benadryl would like wipe me completely out. So yeah, I'll come back on tomorrow and let you guys know um, how I feel um, or if I feel anything, but kind of feel kind of shaky, but I don't know if that was just the the nerves of everything and everything started to come down, but I'm definitely going to go get this water and lay it down. So be blessed. I'll see you guys on Monday.